So now let's start to uh sorry guys. Now let's start to like change the angles on it. So you're gonna want to bump the start angle up to about maybe twenty and bump the end angle up to maybe uh seventy or so. And that looks pretty good. So now you're gonna change the inner radius to about Mm, let me think of what I put like 65 or so or maybe bigger 125 there we go so now let's uh, line this up and actually first we're gonna wanna extrude it so just go extrude nerves and uh, bring this into the arc and again with the extrude nerves since it's up and down you're just going to want to uh, change this to zero and this here to like 20 for the arch all right so there we go that's looking good let's put this on here and let's add just a quick fill a cap to it so we can get something to work with here and let's add this over here so with the arch we're just gonna change the rotation to zero and we're gonna do all of our rotating through extrude nerves and so actually let's move it through the arc let's just set our arc coordinates to zero All right. so now let's move it so let's uh... find the good rotation for cause it wants to be sh you want it to be uh... straight up like even with this here so let's do that so like move it over like this looking like 100 degrees is working out right there so now let's move it and uh, because the axis is messed up you want to go to uh, object or tools and object axis hit R on the keyboard and move it oops hey, yeah um, tell mom we're soon. yeah I'll tell mom we're eating soon I'll be right back guys <laughs> Alright, I'm back. My stomach is full of shish kebab and we are ready to go. So, uh, turns out I have no idea how to uh, flip this axis, so we're going to wing it. Uh, we're just going to want to basically bring it like this. In here, like that. And just going to position it in the middle here. And let's see here. Mmm raise this up a bit a bit let's take a look at our picture here yeah I need <clears throat> alright this looks good for the beginning of it let's just move this up to exactly 30 uh, and let's just uh, make it uh, even so like 115 And negative 115. Alright, that does not look right whatsoever. And there we go. So, um, let's go back to our picture again. If you uh, look at it, we need to make the arc a bit longer. So, um, let's change the outer radius to like 300. And the inner radius to like 225. Let's bring it down again. Or let's even make it bigger. Let's make it for 350. And the inner radius 300. And let's make it 275. <coughs> Sorry, man. Been kind of sick lately. My throat's been hurting me. Alright, let's see here. Let's try and position this right. This is where I had the hard time when I made my speed art. I couldn't get it to look exactly right. So we'll just kind of do our best here. Alright, that looks pretty good. Alright, so let's just rename this uh, like arc or something. And alright. So now, uh, if we look at the picture here, uh, it looks like it. The outside of the uh, 
arc was gold and the inside was black, so we'll uh, add the uh, gold first, pretty much the same as last time, and add the uh, black here. Now, I think it's going to be C1, it might be C2, because, like, since it's upside down, like, the black is on the bottom here, you can see, but to make it go on the top, it'll go like that, C2. So now, it's flipped up top here. Beautiful. And you got your gold material on the bot on here, so you got both, and that's looking good. So now there is something really different you got to do with this. Uh, this is the first time I actually did this. It was uh, spline wrapping the text. Now this was pretty tough, but we'll try and get through it. So actually, what you got to do is you got to select the arc and hit command or control and drag the arc out so it makes a copy of it and then you gotta change the type to arc again so if we just uh... raise this up to uh... look at it looks there we go so this is where it got tough you had to change the radius to like slightly lower like 325 or so and let's just go 300 there we go. Eh, I don't know. 312. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of want it in the middle here. 310. There we go. You do, you basically want it in the middle of your uh, big arc. So now you got your just basic spline arc. And uh, what you're going to do with this is you're going to wrap the text that you make on it. So uh, let's make our text object. Uh, let's just go MoGraph text object. And we'll just call we'll, we'll uh, make, go to the object settings, make the depth yeah about fifteen. Make our just our text. We'll just leave it at text for now. Change the alignment to metal height and one twenty five. Maybe even change our font. To, uh, something pretty original. I have this font. It's called uh. Amsterdam graffiti. That's pretty nice. There we go. Now let's raise this up. Text. And, um, that, they look pretty close, so we'll just put like a two for horizontal spacing. Spread it out a bit. Alright, so, uh, this, the next thing I want to do is, so, uh, the text wraps along the, uh, actually, let's rotate it down like this. Negative 90. All right, so that so that the text wraps along this spline right here. And what you have to do is you have to go to uh, under this and hit spline wrap. But if you're on 11.5, you're gonna go under here and hit spline wrap. But this is our 12, so click that. Go spline wrap and drag the spline wrap under the mo text. So select your go into your spline wrap and click this little mouse right here, and then you can choose what spline you want to wrap it on. And now, if you take a look at it, it's wrapped quant no sexually, but it's uh, backwards. So the way to fix that is uh, you have to uh, actually rotate the spline wrap so that it's uh, so that it flips around 180 degrees. So if you uh, go in like this, uh, text that still isn't right. Uh, how are we going to do this? I don't remember exactly how I did it on my other one. But, um, yeah, let's put this at zero. Let's put this at zero. Put this at 90. So if we leave this one at 90, and we flip this one like that, so, oh, so we're just going to want to change this to, uh, like, 290. I don't know. There we go, that looks kind of weird. Let's see what it looks like at zero. Yeah, 290 it looks like it's going to. 285, 290, something like that. Yeah, let's try 360. The key is to just find the right thing where your text is going to wrap along the spline. 
<coughs> so uh, actually let's try this again with the actual text we'll uh, rotate it mm. let's get this spline wrap out of here for now alright so this is our actual text and let's just change all these rotations back to what they were like that like all the original rotations let's move it up and we'll rotate it this way make it 90 here and we'll make it 90 here so it's easier for now for it to spline wrap so now if we select this like that it'll be a lot easier so if we just change these to zero now it's a, it'll be easier to spline wrap so if we go to the axis and change it to uh gotta find the right one here just looking like x positive yeah um actually x negative but now if we take a peek at it all we gotta do now is uh... rotate this like such here it's looking like hmm. Let's see here like this so probably like two sixty so there we go. Now this is uh, properly wrapped, I'm guessing. So let's move this down a bit like that. Or let's move our text down, actually. And let's just rotate it a little bit so it lies flat. There we go. So now let's move that down a little bit, like right about here. So or you actually got to move the spline wrap down. Or the spline. Ooh. This gets fancier every day. And let's just change the spline to 92. So everything's fairly, uh, actually, let's go back to that. There we go. So now everything's pretty much lined up. So, uh, let's do one final thing. Let's add a camera. Camera. And let's go in here. We'll make the thing negative 90 here. So it's looking uh, straight down. Change our rotation to zero. Change our position to zeros here, and um, we might actually want to change this to 45, maybe 55, maybe 50, <laughs> eh, about there. And we'll line this up like this. <clears throat> okay, so this looks like our final product. So. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.